one of the stronger banks in the uh, in the banking space csb bank is the first corporate on our radar this morning the bank has seen a good comeback in gold loans the gold loan shares have risen or the share of gold loans has risen to 46% in q2 versus 39% year on year in terms of business momentum as well their deposits and advances saw a rise both year on year and q on q and last time when we spoke to the bank uh, the management told us that their credit growth will be faster than the entire system over the next 2 to 3 years pralay mondal who's the mb and ceo at csb bank joins us now uh, for a discussion on how 2023 will shape up for them Mr Model good morning and happy new year to you and your team at CSB in advance uh, I want to ask you about what's happening in the gold loan space because it's made a strong comeback for you uh, are bankers uh, taking away the market share from NBFCs because that seems to be a very strong narrative but you tell us how is the situation on the ground and what kind of growth are you expecting uh, Good morning Sonia and good morning to all your viewers and a very very happy new year ahead Sure. Thank you. Uh, yes, I think uh, gold loan has been a strong growth area for us. We could see in the last two quarters we have done well. Also, uh, the interest rate issue which was there last year has been uh, settled reasonably well, and uh, this is a good business to be in. We don't need uh, uh, you know risk squares on this. Uh, the NPA is almost uh, close to zero. So, and our operating cost is pretty much baked in. So, to that extent, it's a good business to be in. We are doing well. uh coming to the market share shift i think uh, there's a large market for everybody to address but the segment which we look at is slightly uh, more premium compared to some of the nbfc which you look at it our interest uh, levels are much lower and to that extent we address a different segment but obviously there will always be a 20 30% overlap and maybe some amount of market share shift could be happening there uh, because of probably service pricing and uh, you no know, better network So broadly, I think it has been a, a good last six to nine months for us in the gold loans. Right. Uh, take your point on uh, the gold loan uh, bit, but you know, as far as the uh, MSME SME loans are concerned, from a long-term standpoint, you said that that will be the one that will drive business for you going forward. And this obviously was a low-hanging fruit that you you guys uh, you know gained some market share in. And going forward, uh, uh, there may be some shift in the market share. In terms of MSME and SME, have you turned cautious? Uh, what are your thoughts there? Uh, yeah, I think uh, what I said Mangalam last time also is uh, MSME. The pricing of the risk was not happening to the extent we would like to have in the market. But now I think uh, with the interest rate cycle almost peaking uh, and uh, rates being uh, more rational, uh, you will see us getting a little more aggressive on the SME side uh, now onwards. Maybe this quarter, next quarter, and going ahead in the next year. Also, we have our old uh, vintage runoff portfolio, which is also playing its part. but we have clearly created a good coverage across the country uh, a good team and we are also looking at using technology uh, in the small sme loans uh, we have uh, uh, good coverage and i think overall the credit process is also improved so i think going ahead with the gdp uh, looking reasonably okay and with the interest rate cycle hopefully picking in another quarter or so we should be able to see a good uh, Uh, growth in this in this segment. Right. <clears throat> uh, Pralay, hi. Good morning. You know, uh, a, a, a broker a Kotak uh, Equities uh, writes this morning in a note to their clients, uh, and I'm going to just read the first line out. Our channel checks and conversations with various apparel, consumer durables, paints, and QSR companies suggests a sharp drop in discretionary demand in the past few weeks. Are you seeing that uh, in in your lending businesses at all in any way? So we are coming off a uh, 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 kind of a festive season, Prashant. So uh, a little bit of a drop on our month-on-month basis is obviously expected. Uh, even if you look at the two wheelers and some of the auto side of the businesses, also sort of uh, uh, not grown as much as we had expected at the industry level. Also, the interest rate cycles are going up, and hence the you know the uh, EMI pinch on the uh, uh, portfolio or on the cars will be there. So to that extent, we have to wait it out how it works out because, as you know, 50% of the retail is home loans uh, in the system, home loan, home loans, and lab, and that's where there has been a, a rise in interest rate, which impacts the overall EMI payout of the consumers. But the good news is uh, job uh, salary rise and all these are intact. And uh, I was uh, reading that uh, report from 
uh, one of these uh, brokers, and they're saying that uh, credit to GDP in India is expected to go up from a current level to almost 100 percent in the next few years. So given that perspective, I think uh, uh, there's a little bit of a blip maybe here and there because of the interest rate cycle with uh, some of this news about, around COVID around the world, China, etc., cetera, is uh, impacting. But eventually, I think the long-term story is positive and things are going to pick up on the retail side as well. I have no doubt about it. All right, Mr. Mondal, we leave it at that. Have a great 2023 and thank you for giving us a quick take on the business and all the best with the year ahead. <clears throat> yes, sir.